The African Union summit ended with a tough warning to those fighting in the conflict in South Sudan. African Union Chairman Musa Faqi Mohammed says it's time to slap sanctions on anyone blocking peace in the country. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who attended the summit, promised support for the African Union and put the warring parties on notice. In the meeting we had yesterday, there is a very strong commitment of the EGA, of the African Union, to uh, both the need to guarantee the success of the revitalization forum, the English to the Peace Agreement, but also to make sure that the cessation of hostilities is respected. And it was clear that if it is not respected, tougher measures need to be taken. It wasn't the only conflict discussed at the summit, though. The war in Libya, the fight against Boko Haram in West Africa, and conflict in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo were all debated by the AU Peace and Security Council. On Somalia, the Pan-African body is hoping the UN Security Council listens to its calls for an extension of the mandate of its flagship peacekeeping mission, AMISOM, beyond June this year. A hasty withdrawal, the AU fears, could open the door to an Al-Shabaab takeover of the Somali capital Mogadishu. Behind closed doors at the African Union headquarters itself, a gift from the Chinese government, African leaders discussed the need to do away with the begging bowl syndrome. They increasingly want to see an African Union fully funded by its members and have devised a plan that calls on member states to levy 0.2% on imports to fund the union. But so far, just 21 of the 55 member states have implemented it. This reform is existential for the organization. Unless we can fund our own organization, we have no right to ask foreign taxpayers to fund the Afghan Union. Rwandan President Paul Kagame has taken over the leadership of the AU General Assembly. He is expected to use his year at the helm to push through the agenda he developed for a more independent AU. On the theme of the summit tackling rampant corruption in Africa, Leaders named Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari as the AU's first anti-corruption champion. It's a move seen as a recognition of his efforts to fight graft in Nigeria. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.